Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, today I want to show you my episode 3 about what's in the case. As you can see it's uh, my Inspire 1 case which I modified to uh, fit inside a lot of my equipment which I don't use every day and only if I go abroad uh, I can take them like my last trip that I've done. I took this suitcase with all these things in it. Uh, this is the case for my Inspire 1 but I don't use it as I have another case which I show you in a previous video uh, the equipment I take in this but today I want to show you what I have in this case which I modified so here as you can see I have a lot of uh, I will call it a big equipment that I have uh, First I fit inside my slider, this is the slider that I use to take shots, quick release on this. Uh, next, this is a bag that I use my battery for the Inspire 1, once I use this uh, cable, uh, I use the Inspire 1 battery inside and I use this cable to power up my DJI Osmo. Next I have uh, this is my tripod. Tripod very nice. This can be also a monopod. I showed it in a previous video. Then I have my rig for camera. So you can have any camera here and you can just get a nice shot it's called action pen uh, next I have my uh, dolly this is a small dolly I can put for example my tripod connect to this and then I can use the camera uh, on top of that then I have my uh, DJI uh, selfie stick which you can use for the Osmo DJI Osmo you can connect here and the camera you can connect on top uh, next I have my rig, handmade rig that I made so you can have DJI Osmo right here or you can have a normal camera also uh, I could get a video on my videos uh, about that one and, and how and how I build that also. And next I have my DJI Zemius X3 camera, which I use on my drone, but I carry it because I use it on my DJI Osmo X5 adapter. Take off the adapter or use the camera right on top of the X5 adapter. Also, I have two. Uh, ball head one like this and one like this it's all running with oil uh, pressure all the lock is it's with oil inside so it's very very strong when once you lock it and then I have Z mount this is for the my as you can see quick release, it goes on the slider, put the camera on, lock it, that's where you can change the camera with a quick release, no problem. Next I have my belt, I can use the camera, I connected like this inside the camera here, and I can have a camera. Here it is on my side, the shoulder belt. This one it's a mobile holder for my rig that I just showed you before. But I show you once more. For example, you put it like this on top. And then you can adjust this and have your mobile once you use DJI Osmo and lock it again and 
two more things. It's uh, my glide cam that I have. Uh, very nice. Uh, if you are a fan of uh, glide cam, but I'm more a fan of uh, gimbals and like Ronin and so on. So I don't use it so much, but it's nice to have. Also I have this mouth mount for the GoPro. Put it in your mouth, lock it with your teeth, and then you can use your GoPro on top of this. If you want to, for example, show like action, like a boxing uh, film or something like this, then you can have it right on the level of your mouth. And this is a belt for the camera, so you click on this, you release it, connect it to the camera, have it on your belt, and then you have it lock. You have the camera right on your hips, and two more weights for my glide cam. So yeah, that's it, uh, what I can fit in the box, as you can see I cut here and I cut here, make some changes as I'm not going to use this one anymore for my drone. But uh, yes, all of these things that I just show you fit inside, case is lock, and uh, yeah. So that's it for now, for what's in my case episode 3, I hope uh, you like my equipment. If you have any question you write in the comment below and uh, I will show you how much it costs and answer any of your questions that you have. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.